But the big story tonight, the second naval air crash in a week. An F-18 went down off Virginia Beach. In this case, the pilot ejected. He's in the hospital right now. We were on the air minutes after it happened and throughout the afternoon for you. We're on your side now with live team coverage. Ten of your sides, Lauren Compton is at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. We're going to start things off with Jason Marks in the newsroom to take us through a timeline of today's events. And he also talked to the owner of the boat that helped rescue the pilot. Jason? Tom, we'll get to that interview in a second with that boat owner. The crash happened around 2.30, about 45 miles off the Virginia coast. Now we're talking about an FA-18E Super Hornet that took off from Oceana. It was assigned to the Strike Fighter Squadron 143. Now the jet was on routine training, but obviously ended up being anything but routine today. Something went wrong over the Atlantic. The plane ejected, or the pilot ejected from the plane. Navy officials uh, say he was scooped up by a fishing boat who just happened to be in the area. At that point, he was airlifted to Centera Norfolk General. Now we're learning much more about the boat that happened to be in the right spot at the right time. It's the Joyce D from Inglehard, North Carolina. That's in the Outer Banks. The captain is Brian Daniels. The boat just left North Carolina this morning to head flounder fishing off the New Jersey coast. The only way to reach the crew is by fax. And we talked with Daniel's father, Henry, who actually owns the boat a short time ago. He read us a fax his son just sent him. Take a listen. Had some excitement a few hours ago. That was a Navy, Navy jet crashed in shore of us. The other jet kept buzzing me until I got them on 16. They got me to go to the crash site. I was one survivor. We tried to get him on board the boat. But he couldn't grab nothing. All he could do was say he, he couldn't breathe and help him. And then I, uh, four helicopters, I guess, showed up. I don't know whether it was, in, uh, after, it was after that well, in the time frame, but they uh, got him and carried him back to, uh, uh, well, carried him to the hospital, I guess. Those were the words of Brian Daniels, the captain of the Joyce D. Now, the Joyce D isn't expected to come back home for four or five days after it's out on that fishing trip. It's way too early to know what caused the crash, but Navy officials say an investigation is underway. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Our team coverage continues now with Lauren Compton. She's been outside Centera Norfolk General Hospital, where a Navy chopper landed with that rescued pilot. Lauren, what have you learned? Well, Nicole, we now know that pilot is listed in critical condition. We've been getting updates from Navy officials on how the pilot is doing. And 10 on your side was here when a Navy helicopter brought that pilot in for treatment this afternoon. Chopper 10 was above Centera Norfolk General just after 3.30 when an MH-60 Seahawk touched down. We also had a crew on the ground tracking the helicopters every move. Navy personnel rushed the injured pilot from the helicopter in a stretcher. You can see the pilot is lying down, covered with the blanket. At the time, he appeared to be alert and talking with Navy personnel. This was about an hour after the pilot's jet crashed off the coast of Virginia Beach. Navy officials say the pilot was on a training exercise from the Oceana Naval Air Station and a single-seater F-A-18 Super Hornet. The pilot ejected from the jet before it crashed. A commercial fishing boat nearby was able to rescue him. We're told at the time of the rescue, the pilot was conscious and alert, much like he was when he was brought to the Centera Norfolk General Hospital. on your side caught this emotional moment after the pilot was rushed into the hospital to safety. A rescue Navy personnel seem to be proud of. The Navy has been giving us updates on the pilot's condition. You can count on 10 on your side to bring you those updates as we get them. At last report, the Navy told us that that pilot is listed in critical condition here at Norfolk Centera General Hospital. Reporting live in Norfolk, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. 10 on your side military reporter Art Khan is somewhat of an expert with these types of jets. During Wavy News 10 at 5, we talked to him about how that pilot was rescued so quickly. What I have learned is that a second FA-18 was working with this jet on the training exercise. And as is standard procedure, when that jet went down, the second jet remained on scene to help direct rescuers, this, in this case the commercial fishing vessel, to the downed pilot. Uh, so that worked in their favor. 
More details now on the FA-18E Super Hornet model. The Navy began using them in 2001. They cost about $57 million each with two powerful turbofan engines that can rocket the jet to Mach 1.8. That's fast. The single-seat planes are about 60 feet long, 16 feet high, with a wingspan of 44 feet. This is the second time we've seen an FA-18 crash in Hampton Roads. Two years ago, an FA-18D, which has two seats, slammed into the Mayfair Muse Apartments in Virginia Beach right after takeoff from NAS Oceana. They called it the Good Friday Miracle because no one was hurt. Both pilots were able to eject before the crash. One week ago, a Navy helicopter crashed off Virginia Beach. Chopper 10 was above the site when a Sea Dragon helicopter went down 18 nautical miles off Cape Henry. It was conducting regular offshore training exercises. Three airmen died, including Lieutenant Sean Christopher Snyder. Navy and Coast Guard search crews found the 39-year-old's body late last night still inside the wreckage on the ocean floor. The two other crew members killed were 29-year-old Lieutenant Wesley Van Dorn of Greensboro, North Carolina, and 25-year-old Petty Officer 3rd Class Brian Collins of Truckee, California. One crew member remains in the hospital tonight. Another's been released. The Navy is now focused on how that helicopter crashed. We have complete coverage of both stories on wavy.com. Just go to the home page. You'll find the latest headlines as well as more details of the aircraft involved.